Hey, what's up? So, yeah, we're very towards the end game of this game, I think. No, I'm not entirely sure. Um, the, I've been comparing game times with some of my friends who play this game, and I like just hit their, their game time, like 46 hours ish. Um, I think that's weird because generally I spend roughly like good 30 or 40 percent longer because I'm reading everything out loud that they probably aren't. So this is faster than I expected to get there. So unless I have a lot of game left, I'm not sure. Anyways, last stream we finished Class Trial 5 with Nagito. Um, Nagito. Oh, what's up, McDill? How you doing, man? Nice to see you back. That's awesome that your internet's finally back working again. Um, Nagito set up the case where so that it looks like it's a suicide, uh, but it wasn't a suicide. It in fact, he in fact made it so that uh, during the fire, he knew that we would all take these like bo the fire grenades and throw them. But one of the fire grenades, he uh, switched with poison. And that poison is what killed him. And so it led to this unsolvable case where we weren't sure who would, uh, who was the killer, which was pretty crazy. And he relied on his ultimate luck for him to, for him to get the killer that he wanted. He wanted the traitor to kill him, and he did. The traitor that we found out, we found out was Chiaki, not on me, which is. Pretty heartbreaking. I love Chiaki. She's an awesome character. A little biased because she's a gamer, but it's pretty cool. How did I enjoy Chapter 5? All in all, I loved it. I thought the case was really good. Um, I got a little frustrated on the first on the first argument because um, <clears throat> who uh, who implied it? Kazuichi. He is saying that uh, Nagito was tortured by the killer and I was like okay sure that seems to make sense um, but apparently we were supposed to know that it was self-inflicted because the tape was on his mouth but Kazuichi never said that the killer was looking for information so I mean I was thinking the killer was just torturing Nagito just to torture him but I guess it was to impl it was implied that the the killer was looking for information on Nagito, or on the bombs rather. Anyways, let's dive right in. Um, yeah. Okay. So we finished this class trial, and uh, Chiaki got her punishment. But all of a sudden, when we wake up, Chiaki's like alive and back, which is weird. So now I have no idea what's going on. Chiaki seems to be alive, and we woke up, and now we're in the restaurant. Okay. Let's get, let's get in. Hey, you're late. Is it true? Nagito really left another message? Sure? Now before Miss Sonya and thank her. She is the one who found it. <laughs> I was going for a walk with Gundam's hamster. And I found it when I stopped by the factory. Gundam's you still have Gundam's hamsters? That's hype. Oh, yo, are we Doki Doki Literature Club now? A coincidence, you say? Wrong! That is the will of causality guiding you. Why would Miss Sonya be going for a walk with Gundam? I never allowed that! What is going on? So the people who are dead seem to be like glitching out a little bit. <coughs> or rather, uh, yeah, their sprites are messing up. So anyway, let's hurry up and play it. Yeah, you're right. Doki Doki scared. Oh, dude, is that a new emote that I need to add? Scared peep. That's that is the will of Steins Gate. I don't like Steins Gate anymore, dude. It's too scary. Um, <clears throat> I wonder who's watching this message. Is it the traitor from the Future Foundation? If so, congratulations. Looks like it ended the way I hoped it would. Ended the way he hoped it would. Oh, you made it up. Gotcha. Nagato is trying to kill everyone except the traitor. Damn it. It was just as Monokuma said. So he really set the traitor as a killer. And he even tried to make them survive the trial? 
but why would he do that? What the? Biakia? What are you doing back? And we also found out that Biakia is not actually Biakia. There's this other student who is called the Ultimate Imposter. We don't know anything about them, but Monokuma revealed that they were impostering. <laughs> they were go uh, trying, they're, they're pretending to be Biakia. And that was crazy. It's gonna be kind of sad, because I really like Biakia. Enough with your useless talk. It appears there's still more. <clears throat> but, if everyone but the traitor is watching this video, then unfortunately, I guess I lost. That outcome is the complete opposite of the hope I believe in. Well, not that it matters for me anymore. I mean, no matter what the outcome is, it doesn't matter for a dropout like me. Now then, let's put this meaningless introduction aside and get down to business. Since I don't know who I'm talking to, I'm going to speak so that both sides will understand. He, so, Nagato's dead, and this is a video message he left after he died, and he's going to be talking to the traitor, or the non-traitor, or the other students, because he doesn't know who won the trial. First of all, you might be wondering why I did what I did. Well, I just took action after talking about it for so long. The special prize in the final dead room allowed me to learn a certain truth. It would be troublesome if everyone found out, so I already disposed of that page. But anyway, I was totally surprised. I mean... Whoa. Is this trying to say something? Spell anything? Not that I can tell. I'm gonna ignore it. McDale, all your all your best voices are gone now. They're all your best voices are dead. The feature foundation's trader must have known that truth all along. And so, I was able to learn the truth about this world and resolved to take action immediately. I shouldn't have made fun of Hajime. Deep down, I always wanted to become a protagonist myself. <laughs> I know, Rip, yeah. You kind of are a protagonist, Nagito. You're the second protagonist, you know? What is this? Check the web for details. Check the web for details. <laughs> but now that I know the tru that truth, as I look back on Monokuma's actions, I'm starting to see what he's planning. Oh yeah, the timer in Central Island is about to go off, the countdown. Uh, it was at 15 days-ish when we started. Now it's about 8 hours or something like that. <clears throat> Or, unless it already went off and this is the result. I don't know yet. I don't remember. But giving us information about the island's mystery and the future foundation, he's raising all of your hopes. <clears throat> but only so he can lead you to unimaginable despair. I could do all the Gundam free times with you and the, and the whole Nagito segment, so I got a good amount of time with both characters. Yeah, that's true. Man, that Nagito segment was so much fun. It was so cool. Plus, Monokuma's trying to show that despair to someone. Perhaps, that someone is. Seriously pissing me off. This says something. Seriously pissing me off. Hell. And... Uh, I don't know where to start. Zero meth one. Oh, that says something. I don't know what it believes something. I can't believe believe something. Something good like this is only. It's only. Blank. So happy. It's so happy. Oh, that was a Windows notification. That scared me. <laughs> so happy. Oh, gosh. I, okay, I'm gonna... I don't know. Jeez, what a hopeless truth. Who is Monokuma's true identity? How could they come up with a plan like that? But that's enough reflecting on the past. Let's talk about the future now. If you want to escape Manakuma's plan, there's a specific place you need to go to. 
The key to enter that place is that message you found at Nezumi Castle. We already knew that. We just don't know what it is. Normally, you need to follow a bunch of steps to enter that place. But since that message gets rid of those steps, you can think of it as an Easter egg or something. It was probably left by some uh, someone other than Monokuma or Monomi. That has nothing to do with me. What does it say? Ah, you guys will still think you're not gonna, not gonna die or something. You guys still think you're not gonna die or something. Stop it! Stop it! Don't stop. Okay. This I feel like there's some hidden message in here and I don't know what it is yet. I had to hide this until my plan came to an end. But I guess now's a nice time to announce it, right? So then, I'll announce the password. One one zero three seven. Leon? What? No way. Looking it upside down, it's like Leon. <laughs> that is the password that was written in Nezumi Castle. You have to use that to enter that specific place. That's the only way you can escape Monokuma. I feel like I've been talking forever, but that's all for me. With this, my duty is finished. I believe my actions will become the foundation of this world's hope. No, no, get to rotate the image 180 degrees. <laughs> The password's actually just Leon. And if that really happens, praise me. Tell others what I've accomplished. Erect a bronze statue of me. Respect me. Please call me the ultimate hope. Oh man. This was Nagato's final message. Um, that 1037 number that Nagito said was the password. What was my voice for her? There's no mistaking it. That's the password to enter the ancient ruin. She's just gonna be like a Chiaki voice, basically. <laughs> oh no, Chiaki, hello. You better hurry, I think. Let's go before the countdown reaches zero. You're right, let's go. I still don't know what's happening. Can I just go? Alright. Uh, let's go. We're going to wait. Are we going to Central Island? Or are we going to the Ancient Ruin? Okay. Oh, I can't even teleport there. All right, you can't teleport. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Monka S. Now is not the time to relax. I need to hurry to the Ancient Ruin on the second island. Oh my gosh, what is going on? What? Where am I at right now? Oh, this is the ancient room. Good. Oh my gosh. This game became a horror game. I was not prepared. But how is my pet doing? He has not pooped. That's all that matters. <clears throat> Somehow, it is quite nerve wracking. Huh. Is it really safe to go inside? Oh, what's going to be in there? <laughs> it's so unreliable to be freaked out like that. You're a man, aren't you? There's also that countdown. There's no time to stand around. <laughs> Thanks, Nightbot. <laughs> Damn right. It's our last chance to get inside. Uh, I'm starting to feel nauseous from the thrills, the chills, the kills. Yo, what's up, Jordan? How you doing, man? Ah! If you're gonna let it out, why not? Why not do it in the Tupperware I keep with me? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's messed up. You re you really want to, like, take her puke? That's gross, dude. Ah! Now's not the time to fuck around! What? Why is no one else think it's weird that everyone's here?! It's going to be alright. You don't have to worry. I will protect my young master. Now then, let's go forward together. The how? Don't treat me like a kid. Believe that hope lies beyond this point. That is your leader's order. 
Thanks for the pit, McTail. I appreciate it. <laughs> oink, oink! Oink, oink! Oink, oink, oink! <laughs> what was that? Oh, I should've just got... <laughs> I told her that you only understand piggy talk. Join for the bits. <laughs> I said, I said, you're so cool in Piggy Talk. I'm going to kill you. Hajime, the password, please. Yeah, I know. Crap. Now that everyone's here, now I have like 16 voices to do again. This is this is gonna get tough. One one zero three seven, right? There's no need for you to worry. The only thing beyond this point is a shining future. You miss Ibuki? Ibuki is pretty cool, now that I think about it. Animated Craigasm looks kinda weird. Now then, let's open the door to the future. The password was right. It wasn't Leon. <laughs> Beyond this door, the future is waiting. A sparkling feature. Now then, let's move forward. I still don't know what to make. Let's make the Fibonacci sequence. Oh, well. He already failed. Rip. McDale, do you know the Fibonacci sequence? <laughs> Thanks for the bits, guys. <laughs> Is this a trial ground? But why? Am I at a trial ground? Hey, it sure looks like a trial ground, but the vibe is way different than the one from before. Um, by the way, huh? oh yeah, gotcha. How far are you gonna go? We'll see. Um, where did everyone go? Next one is eight. Hmm. Everyone. What? Something's wrong. Something's wrong? Yo. What did I do? No. That's not it. <laughs> I only have seven. Dude, if only you didn't waste those three! <laughs> I'm not the weird one. What? What's really weird is... Yo, I have to finish early tonight, McDill, so that you can stream. It's been so long. It's been over a week. <laughs> Thanks, Jordan. This world. Wait. What's really weird is this world? Did this just hit? Did this just it must have just hit zero then. So what's gonna happen? Monka, dude. <laughs> what is going on? Stage clear? I'm Ron Burgundy? Oh my gosh. This game, this game became a horror game. Let's do it. Is that? Oh, gamer's backpack. Oh, sad boys. At least I have her panties. Chapter zero. Yo, heading to the school trip. What is going on? It would be wrong to say it was swaying from side to side. It's actually shaking rather intensely. The room I was in. It was shaking from side to side. This noise brings back memories. Oh gosh, I don't know what that means. The shaking was quite irregular. Just when you thought it was a series of small shakes, it would suddenly shake violently. And every time that happened, I'd have to steady myself with my foot. 
I couldn't stand up very well, but for me, it was comforting. I never thought not knowing what to expect could be so fun, so I was feeling rather excited. But I figured I'd get bored of that feeling soon enough. That's what I was expecting. For me, a person who is loved by talent. Detecting irregularities among irregularities won't, won't be that difficult. Ah, how boring. Am I Nagito? I am Nagito. Do you like, do you like ships? Are they, oh. Uh, I might do the inner thought. Is it, I still think this is Nagito's inner thoughts, right? No, this can't be, th no. This inner thoughts cannot be Nagito, cause Nagito, it just, they just said it was Nagito before when he was talking. So I don't know who this is. On the, on the other side of the dark room, I heard a voice. It was clearly directed at me. Heh heh. Heh You looked like you were having fun, so that's what I assumed. You do like ships, right? So we're on a ship? Sick. Ships? Ah, that's right. That's it. So this is a ship. <laughs> you just realized that now. Is it really that funny? Hey, if you want, care to talk a little? The sounds are starting to bore me. <laughs> Instantly, I saw his true character. The over-familiar attitude, the friendly smile. <laughs> Nagato's into shipping. He hopes for ships. Under that thin skin, I could detect a foul or offensive odor, like some kind of putrid slime. In a sensible way, of course. How should I put this? It was a smell exclusive to those who were already finished. Mm. Nice to meet you. I'm Nagito Komaida. Anyway, lucky me. It's been a while since anyone was willing to talk to me, so to share a room with a person like that. Yep, I'm definitely lucky. Lucky? Ah, oh, so that's your talent then. Sorry. Getting some texts from my family. What a boring talent. A boring talent, huh? Well, that's exactly what it is. But for someone I'm meeting for the first time to say that so suddenly, that's because I have luck as well. Yo, am I Makoto Nagi? Am I at Makoto? Huh? Even I possess a talent that's born as luck. P possess, huh? I'm starting to get really interested. Who are you? You're obviously from Hope's Peak Academy too, right? So you're one of us? Ah, but that's weird. This is the first time I've ever seen you. Hey, can you tell me why you're here? How did you end up here? How boring. Ah, sorry. I'm often told I'm terrible at making conversations. Not you. This world. Huh? This world is full of boring people. People who lack talent stick together and oppress those who do possess talent. Even though they know they're insignificant, they don't try to acknowledge their true superiors. This isn't Makoto. Makoto wouldn't talk like this. So who is this? Someone we don't know, I presume. They're profoundly desperate to drag them down to their level. And because of these bastards, this world has come to a deadlock. This world has stopped evolving. Sounds like Makoto. <laughs> yeah, just like him. How boring. Well, the world is shaped by the will of the majority. It makes sense that it depends to those who lack talent. That's why we're in our pr present situation. Ah, perhaps. Does that have anything to do with the reason you're here? Born people make no contributions to the world. Not even a speck of dust. Come on, man. That's why my teachers taught me that a certain degree of selection must be, must be performed. Looks like they had high expectations for you, huh? That's completely different from me. But, what do you plan to do? Now that you've ended up like this, there's nothing you can do, right? Listen well. Using people is a talent, too. It is now my turn to use that person, just as they used me in the past. That person. Are you talking about ultimate despair? I can't. I can't look at the transcript or anything. So, how they used me in the past. The ultimate despair used me in the past.
But how? I mean, the already bad person. <laughs> I have it with me. The contribution that person left to me, even now, the rest of my pocket. I, I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> I'm definitely lucky. I can't believe I'm speaking with someone as amazing as you. Then, why be able to see her again? Bad cat. Why be able to see the person I hate with every fiber of my being again? Who do you hate? You hate Junko? Mukuro? And this time, why be able to kill it this time? The person I hate so much. Hate? Then, explain your hand. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Left hand. He's got. Look at those nails! Are you the ultimate fashionista? Ah, this? The end of that bit. The, the end of that bandage. It's a woman's hand, right? <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I can't move it, of course. I mean, it's not my hand after all. Oh my gosh. But even now. It still hasn't rotted. Hey, maybe that means it's becoming one with me. Isn't it amazing? I have successfully become one with ultimate despair, my sworn enemy. I see. So you salvaged the body. You really are a boring person. How, how is that really boring? That's me it's messed up. Not boring. Ah, I don't want you to misunderstand. I just see her as my enemy, you know? Because she's my sworn enemy. Because I hate her so much. That's why I took her power, and for that, I... Wait, huh? Do I hate her? Huh, that's strange. Huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? Ah, look out the window. We're finally here. You're starting to see too, right? That's Jabberwock Island, isn't it? Isn't it exciting? I wonder what's going to happen on that island once we get there. What's going to happen? I can already predict what will happen. Huh? I already know because I am loved by talent. But no matter what happens, it's of no concern to me. I will not be able to participate in what lies ahead. Really? I don't really understand, but... I guess we have to part ways for a while. That's disappointing. We seem to get along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There's no reason we'll ever meet again. After all, you were born. Your talent, your thoughts, your entire existence is so boring to me. You really don't play along, do you? What is going on? So this is... Is this what happened before the trip then? Was Nagito part of it the entire time? In a, in a way. This what must have happened before we got to the island, but after we got to Hope's Peak. Huh? What is this? It's a door. There's a door. Huh? A door? Why is a door here? Where am I? How did I get here? Where am I supposed to go? It's a door. There's a door. Nice writing. <laughs> huh? Isn't this... Whoa, we're back at school. A classroom? Time unknown. Except there's a clock up there. Though we still can't see the hands. But even so, it's a very strange classroom. Why am I in a place like this? I went inside the ancient ruin with everyone else. And I arrived at a place that looked like a trial ground. But then, why? It's not connecting. I don't know why I'm here. It's like there's no connection between how I left the trial ground and how I ended up here. It's just like before. When we were all gathered in that classroom, just before we arrived at Jabberwock Island. But, where is this place? Is this somewhere on Jabberwock Island? 
Huh. What time is it? And what does ding dong bing bong mean this time? Monokuma, please? Okay. Ahem! Ahem! Testing, testing! Mic check, one, two! This is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay. Well then. Welcome to Hope Speak, Hope Speak Academy, you guys. At this point, I shall explain the graduation exam to you all. So please assemble at the gym. Gymnasium immediately. I don't know what's going on. This is crazy. Huh? Did he say what I think he just said? Yes, he definitely said it. He said, Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. B but, why would this place be Hope's Peak Academy? And not just that. What is the graduation exam? Isn't the killing over already? Give me the Mona coin on this clock. This clock doesn't have any hands. A clock without hands is meaningless. Why would something like this even be in a classroom? Should I just go? Alright, I'll just go. Leave here? Yeah. Alright, I wonder if the map layout is the same. Oh my gosh. It is. Even the hallway doesn't feel like a school at all. What a creepy place. At least, it doesn't look like a normal school at all. It's definitely a lie. There's no way this place is Hope's Peak Academy. Is this creepy place a Hope's Peak Academy that I've admired, admired for so long? It's probably a building that Monokuma made to startle us, just like the fun house. That's right. That's definitely it. Monokuma said to come to the gymnasium, right? Then I'll go. And definitely clear things up. Yo. This is insane. This is insane. I just want to, I want to inspect it. Oh, I can't. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's where we did the old class trials, but... Ooh, can I go in that store and spend some mono coins? I got like 300. The gymnasium is here, right? All right, I'm going inside. Something might be waiting, but I'm not going to cower my way anymore. And so, I braced myself and cautiously opened the door. Oh man. What is going on, what is going on? This is the end. Goodbye, Academy of Despair. Oh, that's good. Gently. I wasn't prepared for what was waiting for me on the other side of that door. It's a hanging Sayori. It was a normal gymnasium. Uh. Yo, Hajime. Uh. You heard the announcement and came here too. You guys did too, right? Hey, hey! What do you make of all this? Monokuma said this place was Host Peak Academy or something? That cannot be possible. You're right. Anyway, you look at it, it's impossible. Hello! How does it feel to return to long awaited Host Peak Academy? Hey, where are we? Where'd you lock us up this time? What a shock! I just told you guys this is Hope Peak Academy! This is no one hell that's true! Oh, but it is! I mean, this is definitely Hope Peak Academy. Well, what's left of it anyway? What's left of it? Didn't I tell you before? Unfortunately, Hope Peak Academy fell to ruin! You were serious about that? I don't believe it! But of course it fell to ruin! I mean, they were doing things that they deserve to be ruined for! What do you mean? Anyway, I'm pretty disappointed. I went to all this trouble to bring you to Host Peak Academy, and you don't feel surprised or nostalgic! Oh well, it's not like I did this for you guys. Even if you don't feel nostalgic, nostalgic I'm sure someone is feeling nostalgic right now! Yes. Mm. Fourth wall. Someone? Enough of this bullshit. Just spit it out already. Where'd you take us, you bastard? Though I'm not certain of my memories, I believe we entered the ancient ruin and... It means! 
I made this whole big academy between the door to the ruin and the inside of the ruin. What do you mean between? What do you mean made? Oh my! Are your minds getting the grumblies that only knowledge can satisfy? Good! Very good! It's fine to hurry along to the graduation exam, but it's in my nature to provide a little entertainment. Entertainment? You're planning to make us do something, aren't you? It's nothing to be so cautious about. It's not like you'll be making life exchanges or anything like that. It's just a simple graduation exam. Um, what is a graduation exam? Well, as a headmaster, I'm conflicted, you know? On one hand, I'm really happy that you're finally going to graduate. But on the other hand, I'm worried about whether you guys will be okay in the outside world. That's why I'm thinking about telling you what the outside world is like before you make a decision. Whether you want to leave Jabberwock Island or stay here. Huh? We're obviously going to get out. There's no way we'd stay here. This is annoying! Just hurry up and let us choose! Let us choose right now! You can't do that! The main cast hasn't arrived yet! Main cast? Meaning, you guys are just extras until the guest of honor arrives! So enough complaining already! Hurry up and start researching the outside world! What do you mean? I have dispersed all the teaching materials you need for your research throughout Hope Peak Academy. Well, I don't think this needs to be said, but... All the information is accurate and it contains no lies whatsoever. Otherwise, the main cast is gonna hate me. <laughs> so, please rest assured and strive to do your best during your field trip. And as usual, after leaving us with his cryptic words, Monokuma disappeared. Even if the setting had changed, even if the killing was finished, he was still the same as usual. What is going on? Outside world? Main cast? Somehow, I have a bad feeling about this. Mike, he keeps insisting that this place is Hope's Peak Academy! But, but that's impossible, right? I've been making back to Hope's Peak Academy from a tropical island in the first place. It's impossible. There's no place for Hope's Peak Academy to exist on Jabberwock Island. I said I wanted to go back, but I don't want to go back to a creepy place like this. What does this mean? So many things I don't understand have happened on this island. This building, it's really Hope's Peak Academy? This is a Hope's Peak Academy that I've admired, I've been admiring for so long? What in the world is going on? Damn it, why is this happening? Why? I was finally able to attend Hope's Peak Academy. I finally thought I'd become confident in myself. Even so, I... Want to become Hope? If that's what you're thinking, just stop it. Listen carefully. The only humans worth the, worthy of becoming Hope possess ama amazing talents and a strong will. And, the moment you're born into this world, you either have that or you don't. It has nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by Hope to become Hope. That's why it's not even worth admiring. Or, were you so blinded by your admiration for Hope's Peak Academy that you couldn't even see that? <laughs> You're just some nobody from the Reserve Course who had never had a talent to begin with. A nobody who forgot he was a nobody, that's all. If I really am nobody then, you should have just left me alone. Why? Why'd I have to go through something like this? Hachime, did something happen? Huh? Now's not the time to zone out. Sorry, it's nothing. I don't really get it, but is that all? As long as I don't beat the crap out of out of Monokuma, nothing's gonna be solved. Is that what it means? Just what the heck is Monokuma anyway? He's not part of the Future Foundation, right? If you say that. And what is the future foundation? Even though Chiaki and Monomi are gone, our situation hasn't changed one bit. Which means... The future foundation wasn't our enemy. That's the only thing I can think of. So, so they're not world under? Then, we were really tricked by Monokuma? This However, the future foundation is responsible for trapping us on this island, right? 
Regarding that matter, I believe Monami never once denied that. Even if there are allies, they might not just be allies. Maybe Monokuma is telling us to investigate that information on our own. Shaki said she could not betray the Future Foundation. But if she were still alive, she definitely would have helped us. No, even her just being with us would have been a big help. Mm. So what should we do? Yeah. That's obvious. If we're gonna get out of here safely, we have to do that graduation exam, right? Graduation exam, huh? I'm not really good at taking exams. <laughs> well, I guess it's better than people dying. Monokuma said something about a field trip, right? Is he telling us to investigate like we have been? Alright, I'm gonna do it. Prepare yourself! Yeah, we might be able to learn about something. About Ho about Hope Bee Academy. About ourselves. Uh... I don't care if we do... If we don't... Do oh. I don't care if we don't know anymore. If we can just go back to our normal lives. I'm fine! Hey, we can go home when this is over, right? We can finally get off this damn island, right? If that's the case, let's all leave this island al alive by any means. Hell yes. He's right. Now it's not the time to bemoan how unlucky I am. Where this place really is. What's happened to Hope's Peak Academy? None of that matters. What's important is, I need to leave this island with the others. We sacrificed so many lives in order to survive just so that we could do that. There's no way we can stop now. But... Monokuma should already know that that's what we're thinking. So, why do you say that? We have to decide on our own whether or not we want to leave Jabberwock Island. He should already know that we'd never choose to stay on this island. Oh, no. So what are we going to do? Can we start already? Oh. But what are we even looking for? Do we just have to investigate this weird-ass building? <laughs> even so, I don't think we'll find the answers to all our questions inside this damn building. Well, I'm just going ahead for now. Hey, hey! You already going? What is that idiot thinking, running ahead without being cautious? Uh -huh. She obviously isn't thinking about anything. It will be fine. There will no longer be any situations where we must exchange each other's lives. So we should do our best as well. Like they say, it is not scary if everyone stops at a green light. Uh... Okay. <laughs> if we stopped at a, the green light, we'd never reach our goal. Okay, what a stupid quote. Akane already took off on her own. It might be faster if we split up and look around too. Like Sonya said, if there's no more killing, we don't have to worry about anyone betraying us anymore. <laughs> then, let's get this over with and go home! I'll go on ahead. I'll see you guys later. With those brief words, Ryuhiko left the gymnasium. I shall do my best to obtain a wonderful clue that will be useful to everyone. Now then, please excuse me. Sonia took a deep bow, then left the gym. Miss Sonia! Miss Sonia! Please don't leave me! I'll be in danger if I'm left alone! Kazuchi chased after Sonia, who had just departed, and left the gym. Alright, where are we going? I should hurry and start too. Just a bit more. Just a bit more, and it's going to end. I can escape this nightmare and return to my usual, peaceful, everyday life. The only thing we can do is advance toward that hope. Even though I don't understand, and that and that a lot of horrifying things keep happening. For the sake of everyone who couldn't make it this far, I'm definitely going to go home. Yo. What am I investigating? I don't know what I'm investigating. This is crazy. Yo, this is like freestyle? I, Cause look, nothing's selectable, nothing's showing. I'm just tapping A. I don't. I actually don't think I can tap anything. All right, I don't think I can check anything. All right. I thought it just wasn't showing things that I could select for some reason. Huh? That's weird. This is the hallway. I walked through to get. This is the hallway I walked through to get to the gym, but it's clearly different. Is this Monokuma's doing too? Is he trying to confuse us again? What's going on? I, I don't know how he's doing it, but he keeps doing it over and over again. He's so persistent. But I'm not going to fall for his trap. There's no way this will make me back down. 
Oh my gosh. Alright, let's talk to Sonya. This hallway has a strange feeling to it, no? As if an invisible wall has been erected to limit our movement. Is it just me? Uh, no. No, it's not. So, oh my gosh. And so the bio lab, aka the morgue, is up here. Can we go to the morgue? This is so crazy. This is insane. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Alright, let's go to the uh, greenhouse area. Nope. Okay. And, okay. The dojo. Alright, we can go in the dojo. God, I love this chapter. This chapter is pretty cool so far. Is this a dojo? It was full of strange things that made me think there's no way we're inside a school. Perhaps this is a mistake to expect the inside of this building to make sense. What is this? A History of Host Peak Academy. Is this a manga? The title is By Monokuma. That's funny. Manga for Morons. A History of Host Peak Academy by Monokuma. Why is a manga with such a suspicious looking title laying out in the open like this? Poo -poo -poo. Let's start with history first, class! Pretty. Wait. <laughs> oh, man. My bad. Reading manga is the third best way to learn about history. Then what's the first, you ask? That depends on the person! So just as I thought, Monokuma made this. That totally explains how suspicious it, lo how suspicious it looks. I really wanted to just ignore it, but there's no way I can do that. Fine, I'll look at it. I'll look at anything that might be a clue to getting out of here, no matter what it is. This chapter is really hype, I like it a lot. I picked up the manga off the floor and started flipping through the pages. It's an introduction of Hope's Peak Academy's history, as narrated by the cutesy character on the cover. The story begins with an introduction to Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's, Hope's Peak Academy is a government-funded school of privilege where only the most talented high school students can hope to attend. Built to raise hope in the nation's future, many of its alumni are key leaders at, of various industries. These students are chosen through a scouting process, but the ones who scout them are Host Peak Academy teachers, who serve as both educators and researchers of talent. Hope Peak Academy isn't just a school for talent, it is also a school for researching talent as well. However, for the past few years, Hope Peak Academy has been suffering from a decline in funding. If this persists, the Academy believes they will not be able to make progress with their research of talent. So they, so they decided to implement a new system, the Reserve Department. Unlike the main department, who scouts for students, the Reserve Department utilizes a general exam a general entrance exam. Normal faculty was hired and placed in charge of looking after the reserve department. The expenses and exam fees for the reserve department are quite high compared to, to most high schools. Nevertheless, Hope's Peak Academy received an endless stream of applicants. Hope's Peak Academy was now common to talentless commoners, people who only cared about the brand. Y'all ever put Frank's Red Hot in your ramen? It's actually so... What is Frank's Red Hot? Googling. Buffalo sauce? I assume there's hot sauce, I just don't know like what kind of hot sauce it is. <laughs> no. I mean, I put sriracha on my ramen. Which, I mean, I mean, sriracha isn't really spicy, it's, it's just there for the flavor, you know? Hope's Peak Academy is now available to talentless commoners, people who only cared about the brand. With this, Hope's Peak Academy managed to amass sizable funds and began further research of talent. About to order some Togarashi for the future, though. I don't know what that is either. It's just oh, spice, Japanese spice. What's it used in? To create Hope Speak Academy's earnest wish, a true genius who would become mankind's hope. But what, just when they thought everything was going well, an unpre unprecedented incident occurred. 
the incident that triggered the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That's right, it was the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. How did Ed of Ramen join in Boulder and loved it? Gotcha. Hope's Peak Academy was crippled by this incident and was forced to shut down without accomplishing anything. The end. Hmm. Huh? The ending was so sudden, like a manga that suddenly cancelled in the middle of its run. Plus, these phrases mentioned at the end of this manga. The tragedy and the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> these names are so melodramatic. There's no way these incidents really happened, right? This manga only mentions the names, so I don't really know the details, but... No. It'd just be a waste of time to wonder about things that don't make sense. No game, no life. <laughs> More importantly, I learned something because of this manga. I really liked that show. The reserve department. That department was only built to collect money. I was one of those reserve course students, right? Rip. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, you're here again. Ah, the thing that's weird is you, of course. Huh? Why did you forget that you were part of the reserve department? The Feature Foundation only took away your school life memories, right? But you should have known even before you entered that you had no talent, right? Yo, what's up, Paul? Thanks for the bits. What what are those even? First place medal and 19 bit oh okay. Dang. Did I ever watch the No Game of Life movie? Yeah, I did. I didn't like it that I didn't like it as much as everyone else did though. For some reason. So, it's weird that you actually forgot something like that too. Uh oh. What do you want me to say? Based on my assumption, the Feature Foundation must have wanted to hide the fact that you were one of those Reserve Corps students. Or you willingly seal those memories yourself. Huh? You wanted to be confident in yourself, so you wanted to forget everything that embarrassed you. Oh dang, it's a battle. Thanks, Jordan. <laughs> you know, when humans experience trauma, sometimes they erase their memory of what happened. It happens pretty often, now that I know anything about that, though. Are you saying it's my fault I forgot? That's not it. When things get inconvenient, you always get angry and try to brush it off. Wow, that's ex that's expected of a, of a reserve course student. Yo, did any of you guys get Mario Party? We switch, obviously. Damn it! What the heck? A truth bullet? Are we having a trial? Are we actually having a trial then? What is this trial for? For solving the mysteries of Pope's Peak Academy? Hmm. I have enough triggers in my life already. <laughs> it's armor and a helmet. Did the map developers design this to reflect a Japanese dojo? Map developers. Huh? Um, this cherry tree is in full bloom. It may be a tasteful sight to see a blooming cherry tree inside a dojo. But in this situation, it just looks bizarre. Is there anything of use in here left? That target seems pretty far away. If the production team had more time, had had more time, there could have been a mini game here. <laughs> okay. Wait, what am I saying? Alright, alright. Fourth ball. Calm down, everyone. Cherry, the cherry tree is proudly displaying its full blossoms. The falling petals add to the elegance of the scene. That'd be such a good playing game. Oh, whoa. Mario Party? A good playing game? As a group? Or by yourself? Because... I'd be playing like Hollow Knight or something on the plane. <laughs> If Hyoko and Peko were here, Peko were here, it would have looked truly picturesque. For their sakes, for their sake as well, for their sakes as well, I will definitely go home. Sake. There's a straw post. I guess that means it was used for training. There's actually nothing here. There are a bunch of wooden lockers here. Each of them has a traditional-looking wood block key sticking out of them. I guess they're just for show. There's nothing in particular that looks like a clue. Alright, let's get out of here. 
Yeah, that'd be really fun as a group, though. I don't know how it'd work out. I feel like it seems like oh, this seems to be kind of hard to play. Wait, wait, wait. Where, how do I get? It? How do I? Let's go in the classrooms, I guess. Oh, what is that? I should actually check what games I can snag on Switch for the car ride. This is another manga. It's laying on top of the desk. Um, this one is Manga for Morons: The Tragedy of Host Peak Academy, huh? Wasn't the tragedy of Host Peak Academy mentioned in that other manga too? Yes, it was. Makoto. Or oh my God, I just called Hajime Makoto. <laughs> yes, it was Hajime. It it wasn't that long ago, so you should remember. It's why Host Peak Academy went bankrupt and. You're digging Hollow Knight until you got to the worst area in the game. Uh oh. I hope I don't drop, lose interest in, when I hit that. Did I say morons? I said morons for sure. If you find a cheap multiplayer, let me know. Otherwise, just gonna farm Vita back. Dang, you're still playing the Vita, dude? It was a trigger for the biggest, most tragic, most awful event in human history. If I read this manga, will I be able to learn a little more about that incident? Uh, probably. I took the manga from the desk and started flipping through the pages to see what, what I could learn about the event known as the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. The story made heavy use of outdated stylized drawings de depicting characters solving mysteries. What's written here is, as the name suggests, the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy occurred at Hope's Peak Academy. Yeah, I want to see the pictures. I want to see if I can see like Kyoko or something in here. The key player in that event was a student named Izudu Kamukuda. Kamu Kamukuda. Is this a new character? Izudu Kamukuda. I don't think I recognize it. I'm selling self destruction all Vitas in 2019, so now it's the last chance. They stopped making games for it, didn't they? I thought. Izuru Izudu was a genius known as a symbol of hope. As a symbol of hope. Hope Speed Academy used all their resources to develop him. Yo! This is who this is who uh, Nagito was talking to. Maybe. Supposedly, Izudu was a genius among geniuses and possessed various talents, wielding superior talents for the hope of mankind. The Academy referred to Izudu as the ultimate hope. Eh, maybe not. Maybe this is not who Nagito was talking to. To protect such rare talent, the Academy completely concealed all evidence of Izudu's origins and identity. Because of that. Most of the students at the academy were completely unaware of Izudu's existence. But Izudu, who is known as a symbol of hope. Oh, I was thinking of All Might, but he's a symbol of peace. Was responsible for a horrible incident. 13 students of Host Peak Academy's student council, among the academy's best and brightest, were brutally murdered by Izudu. However, the incident did not, the incident did not end there. The academy tried to protect Uzuru's superior talent and concealed the incident, concealed the incident as though it never happened. That's messed up. However, a certain student began working in secret to use that incident to their advantage. Junko, Inoshima. That student uncovered what the academy did, and by making that knowledge public, it stoked the fires of reserve course reserve course students who had long been dissatisfied with how they've, they'd been treated. And the uprising began. And that heralded Host Peak Academy's destruction. This is the entirety of the, host, the tragedy of Host Peak Academy. Eventually, that incident would lead to that horrifying, devastating incident. The incident that would be known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Bork sided Danganronpa Zero. With a heavy sigh, I closed the manga. A am I supposed to believe this? There's no way 13 people were killed at Hope's Peak Academy. What irony! For a genius known as the ultimate hope to cause such a gruesome incident! Oh, like Fate Zero. I get it. Thanks. 
I couldn't, I couldn't. It was going over my head. A town like that is too re regal for society. It's like trying to buy juice with a bar of gold. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you should be lucky that you're incompetent. Damn it, he always has to lead up to something offensive. He seriously pisses me off. But, ultimate hope. Nagito mentioned that before, too. But it looks like it means something completely different here. What Nagito said was the true meaning of hope. But for Izuru, hope simply means talent. More importantly, a genius who possesses various talents. I wish they'd given me one of those talents so I didn't have to be in the reserve department. That's right. The reserve department. Here, it said that the reserve corps students in the reserve department began uprising. Then what about me? Was I a participant too? Were you? No, that's not possible. There's no way. I have no real, no reason to do something like that. I mean, sure you do. You're a reserve corps student. Tragedy of Host Peak has been added to the Truth Bullets. Anyway, I've learned about the tragedy of Host Peak Academy, but the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is a far worse incident, right? What kind of incident was it? And who's this other student that isn't Izuru? A certain student who secretly used the incident to their advantage. Who is that? This incident is really messed up, but all it's doing is raising more questions. The mysteries just keep piling up. There's probably nothing else in here, but metal slabs are covered in portions of the classroom where windows would usually be. To go so far as to cover the windows like this, does he really don't? Does he really want to keep us locked inside? But why? Now right, let's just head out. Seems like I can, so. All right, so now that, um, so where do I go now? Uh, I don't know. Hang on. This didn't open up, right? I s oh, it did open up. How strange. Okay. Oh, wait. Are they unlocked rooms? Different color on the map? No, because one of the classrooms is still locked, I think. We'll see. I probably should have noticed it, but... What the hell is with this room? It's freaking cold in here! It's like I'm in a freezer or something. If I just stand still, I might end up freezing to death. I should hurry up and, and investigate so I can get out of here already. The tarp! This looks like a plastic tarp. Why is this left out like this? Clean up after yourself, will you? Okay, let's just look at the manga. No lights are on in here. That means there are no bodies in there. Good. There's another manga just laying around here. This time the title is... Ma manga for Morons! The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history? I knew it. The next one would obviously be about the, this incident. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, huh? Just what was that incident really about? It might turn out to be something lame. I flipped through the pages of the manga and hoped that I was right. Who is that anyway? A story about creepily drawn characters who get involved in such horrifying incidents. An incident known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Is this drawn so grotesquely because the incident itself is that grotesque? Anyway, the beginning of this creepy manga starts with this sentence. The tragedy of Hope Peak Academy was simply the trigger. At first, the uprising of the, by the Reserve Corps students that triggered the tragedy of Hope Peak Academy was initially hoped to be resolved quickly. But the situation continued to escalate to dangerous extremes. The movement started spreading all over the internet and fostered a thriving online community. The community was not limited to students and various and people of various races and nations began joining in. But the movement was not confined to the internet and began spreading and eroding the real world. When the movement started, it was indistinguishable from any other demonstration inspired by social unrest. But as it spread across the world, certain abnormalities soon came to light. By then it was too late. The ends and the means had vanished, and I don't I don't know what that word is. And I wanna say wanton <laughs> But that sounds wrong. 
but destruction became their only goal. <laughs> the strong butchered the weak. The weak killed the weakest among them. And soon, the weak formed fra factions to brutally murder the strong. As the violence and death continued to spread, the shock of their actions began to disappear. As if the era was regressing to more uncivilized times, when senseless death were the norm. The media was oversaturated with deaths to the point where people would watch them while enjoying a meal. By the time the world realized what it had become, it was too late to stop what had happened. A feeling of immense despair began spreading and eventually engulfed the world. Acts of terrorism and coup d'etats began occurring around the world. A war waged in the name of despair. A war fought not for principles, religion, or personal gain. Just war. Pure war. And because of that, there's no way to resolve it. How could a movement started by high school students progress to such a hopeless scenario? The only explanation is the existence of a certain organization devoted to a certain student who influenced Hope's Peak Academy. A group called Ultimate Despair. Instead of using Hope's Peak Academy's talents for the sake of mankind's hope, they used them for the sake of mankind's despair. Key members of society use their influence to brainwash the masses in order to, to spread despair. Tech-savvy computer programmers wrote software to spread despair. The powerful, the powerful and influential created new values and morals to spread despair. The powerful and influential created new values and morals to create to, to spread despair, okay? And with this they created the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. As long as ultimate despair exists, the despair engulfing the world will never end. The tragedy will never end. My heart was racing in my chest, but my body felt ice cold. And it wasn't because I was freezing in this room. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This is definitely all made up. I mean, if this is really true, then what's happening in the outside world? My family, my friends, the convenience store I frequent, the nearby bookstore, my favorite restaurant. What's happened to them? Hey, hey! Are you seriously yelling at a manga? How crazy are you? Who would enjoy reading something like this? Oh my! You don't like manga? A high school student who doesn't like manga is like an office lady who doesn't like to eat candy. Enough! What is this messed up manga? Boom, boom, boom! I thought you'd obviously know such a horrible event that destroyed the world, but... For you not to remember that, such despair. That's a feature foundation's fault though. Thanks to them thanks to them stealing your school memories. The incident that happened during that period has been completely removed from your brains. This incident really happened, and I actually forgot about it. The biggest, most awful event in human history. Yeah, I wonder how I wonder how often I said uh that's been said. There's no way that's possible. How many times do I have to tell you? All the clues here are real! What? Please understand, I'm rooting for you! If you don't learn about the full extent of the outside world, you guys will suffer for it! <laughs> I just want to help you guys... Help you guys so you, got, so you can live well-adjusted lives in the outside world! I see, so that's how it is. That's what he meant by what he said at the beginning. Well, as a headmaster, I'm conflicted, you know? On one hand, I'm really happy that you're finally going to graduate. But on the other hand, I'm worried about whether you guys will be okay in the outside world. <laughs> That's why I'm thinking about telling you what the, the outside world is like before you make a decision. Whether you want to leave Jabberwock Island or stay here. He's trying to make us feel despair toward the outside world, so we'll want to stay on this island. But there's no way I'm going to do what he wants. Despair like that simply can't exist. The outside world should be filled with hope. Just like now. Perhaps. No. That's definitely it. The tragedy has been added to the truth bullets. Whether or not this incident really happened, what in the world is this ultimate despair group? If they're devoted to a certain student who guided Hope's Peak Academy to its destruction, are they connected to both the tragedy and the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy? Plus, 
That organization isn't just one person, but a group of people. But if they're known as Ultimate Despair, they're high school students, right? Well, if they were actually able to do it, then I guess that's why they were called Ultimates. Then, are the killings we're involved in connected to them as well? It's no use. We're going to, I'm going to freeze to death. I'm at my limit. I need to get out of here. Shivering, I ran out of the freezing room. Out of the freezing room. Phew, that was close. I nearly froze to death. So, where should I go next? <laughs> Not here. Um, this classroom now? Would I already go and be? That's for Yuhiko and Monokuma. <laughs> No, I should ignore it. I'm just going to pretend I didn't see him. I wasn't sure if that was free money or not. <laughs> There's no more free money in here. When I went inside this room, that bastard bear was suddenly here. He keeps glancing at me. I wonder why. Huh. It's going to be shooting either way. So I'll let you handle it. There's no way I'm going to deal with that idiot. I don't want to do that either. Uh, I'm reluctant to do it, but I guess I have to talk to Monokuma. I tried to leave. Why, hello, Hajime! I hope you're doing pleasantly, pleasingly well. Are you pleasantly well? You're pleasantly well, right? What are you doing here? Well, there's another thing I need to tell you on this floor. <laughs> I got bored of drawing manga. Can you forgive me for telling you by word of mouth? You should have done that from the beginning. I didn't want to read your manga in the first place. A high school student who doesn't like manga is like a sumo wrestler who doesn't like eating hot pots. I'm getting really fed up with your babbling. Hurry up. What do you what do you need to tell me? Poo poo poo. It's about that key piece of information you've been wanting waiting for so long for. Surprise! It's about ultimate despair! Huh? <laughs> Even though the term Ultimate Despair refers to a group these days, it was originally the title for a high school girl who was the most who was the most powerful, evil, and feared person alive. Uh, uh, high school girl? Lady Junko In Inoshima. Junko Inoshima? As a formal Ultimate Despair, she created a despair brimming with charm and humor, and created the Ultimate Despairs. Poo poo poo. There was one really horrible person in that group. Oh, hold on a sec. I don't know what the ultimate despairs are, but it's not that easy to form an organization. There's no way people would just join some fucked up organization created by a high school girl. Humans who are obsessed with their philosophy have an uncanny power to attract others. It's a tree shared by many famous leaders throughout, th throughout history, right? There's nothing strange about it. That holds true for Lady Junko. With her charismatic ability to attract people, she even influenced those in the highest echelons of power. Her connections were the main reason that incident became the tragedy in the first place. So she even recruited people who would have been in a position to neutralize the threat? The ball was her purpose. What? Like I said, why'd they cause that incident? It doesn't even make sense. They had a purpose, right? There's no way they'd do what they did without any purpose. I was J Juko Inoshima's despair! Huh? For Juko Inoshima, despair isn't about purpose, a set of principles, a way of life, or an instinct. Despair is what defines Juko Inoshima as Juko Inoshima. But what are you saying? I'm a stuffed plushie. Hajime is a human. It's exactly like that! Juko Inoshima is, a, is full of so much despair that's, that she's truly hopeless. Living, dying, eating, loving, for her, everything is despair. What the hell? With her overwhelming force of personality, Juko recruited the ultimate despairs one by one. She controlled their despair by taking advantage of their love, hate, grudges, anything really. Juko's despair is far more de dreadful than any other. The idea had been slammed right into their minds. And so, the ultimate despairs who had been recruited became nothing more than Juko's limbs. All despair, whether it was their own or anyone else's, was dedicated to Jinko and Ishima.
Like believers making offerings to their god. Like a mother providing food to her children. They dedicated all despair so that they could escape from despair. All in Juku Inoshima's name. For example, right. For example. They killed their families and friends, and even destroyed their bodies through relentless mutilation. No way. And to hopelessly top it off, they completely believed there was something they had to do. There's no way something that crazy is possible. Do you know about the final days of the Reserve Corps students during the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy? Final days? Juko has the power to change people's values. This is also true of famous people throughout history. Hey, what do you mean final days? What happened to the Reserve Department? They fulfilled their role, their role as disposable limbs. They believed in what they needed to do. And so, the 2357 students of the Reserve Department all committed mass suicide. What? That's messed up. Why do they feel like they had to kill themselves? Mass suicide? All 2357 students? Oops, it wasn't all of them. One person was ex excluded. One person was excluded, huh? Is that me? I don't believe it. There's no way I can believe this. Ultimate despair. Juku Inoshima. Heh, <laughs> it doesn't scare me at all. I mean, Juku Inoshima is already dead. Huh? Ultimate despair has been added to the troop bullets. Reserve department has been, added, has been updated in the handbook. Okay. Gotta clean up the poop. Jinko Inoshima is already dead. What does that mean? What, why does Fuyuhiko know about that? Hey, Fuyuhiko, is it true what you said? Jinko Inoshima is really dead? What? You didn't say? There's a book called Manga for Morons, Killing School Life in that bloody classroom. A bloody classroom? No. Wait. What was that what was that you said about the killing school life? Like the killings we were involved in. They were killing they were killings that happened at Hope's Peak Academy. As I recall, the mastermind took their own life because the remaining students worked together to defeat her. Mm. Yeah, that's what it was. The killing school life ended up failing in the end. As a result, the six students who survived managed to escape from the academy. For a manga about the killing school life, it was drawn with a lot with a lot of silly images and dumb gags. According to that, the mastermind behind the failed school in life was Junko Inoshima. The mastermind took her own life, which means Junko Inoshima is dead. It turns out that killing that killing school life was part of that whole biggest, most awful whatever incident. Juko took away the memories of former students of Host Peak Academy and forced them to kill each other. Former students of Host Peak Academy, and she took away their memories. That's just like us. Apparently, the whole thing was being filmed by surveillance cameras and broadcast worldwide. Shh. There's a limit to being a cruel asshole. The surveillance cameras were broadcasting the whole thing? The students of Host Peak Academy are widely known as symbols of hope. By forcing people to watch these symbols of hope kill each other for the sake of survival. They were trying to fill everyone who watched the broadcast with despair all at once. That's messed up! Yeah, no joke. But they messed up. But that messed up plan was stopped. Juko and Oshima failed. Juko lost to the students she placed in her trap, and after being overcome by the despair she created, she took her own life. Then, Juko is no more. No matter how horrible she was, there's no reason to fear someone who's dead. Whether Monokuma's story is true or not, doesn't matter. Juku Inoshima isn't alive anymore. Then, who is our enemy? If Juku Inoshima is already dead, who are the are the rest of the ultimate despairs behind this? Are the followers of Junko carrying out her will? Paul, if you're still here, uh, Jorn said you played Ultra Despair Girls. What are your thoughts on it? I just want to get everyone's thoughts on it, really. Because that would probably be the next game I play. Potentially. I don't know yet. Are the followers of Jinko carrying out her will? That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, the killings were 
were involved in resemble that killing school life. Wow. I don't know who the hell is imitating Junko and making us go through this, but... An imitation is just that. An imitation. If the students from Hope's Peak Academy stop the real deal, there's no way we'll lose to some fake. But this is really an imitation. Are the surveillance cameras are the same too? The camera's all over Jabberwock Island. Are they broadcasting to somewhere? Just like the surveillance cameras during the Killing School Life? Hmm. Killing School Life has been added to the truth bullets. Juku Inishima? Okay, Ultimate Despair has been updated. Man! Hajime, you totally know about that story, huh? Oh, what? Do you have a problem with it? <laughs> yeah, I love Ultra Despair Carl's J. Degner. Well, I really wanted you to read the manga version since I took the time to draw it. Oh well, I'll just raise the flag. Flag? What do you mean, raise the flag? What's going to happen if you do that? One step at a time, you're getting closer to clearing my character route. You're not making sense again. Now then, I'll give you guys my all. I'll tell you everything I know, including information on the outside and the inside. I'll raise them flags like crazy! Whoa! Huh? It changed to a different hallway again. It's so sudden. What's going on to make something like this happen? No, I've already decided that. I'm not going to be surprised. That's right, there's no time for me to be surprised by something like this. So, looks like the office, the headmaster's office. No, this is the school, the teacher's lounge. My bad. Apologies. I thought... Okay, so this this is unlocked right here. And after this, I assume I'll be going to the teacher's lounge. This looks like the music room. What is that again? I feel like I know. That's something with the beach foundation. I feel like I can see something strange. Can you see something strange? I don't know if you can see that. As far as unnecessary, I talked to Paul about it a couple of days ago and he felt he said the story was forgettable, but gameplay was better than I expected. Gotcha. It's expensive. What is this? What's that floating in the air? This is is like a hologram, right? The floating letters are forming a sentence. It looks like a passage from an email. Regarding the report we gave you the other day. We have obtained information. A person who claims to be a survivor of, of Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> Upon further investigation, there are a total of 15 survivors. You may be wondering about the number of people at this time. If they're survivors of, of Hope's Peak Academy, it's possible they may be targeted by ultimate despair. We believe we should acquire them and place them in our care as soon as possible. Though I don't believe the group can go that far without Jinko Inoshima rallying them. In a worst case scenario, we must prevent a repeating of the killing school life. Also, if there are survivors of Hope's if there are survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, we should expect them to be quite valuable to us. However, we are still investigating the details of their or origins, and we haven't located them either. We will continue investigating this matter. Also, regarding a separate matter, we have received a report from the research facility on Jabberwock Island. Preparations have been complete. It seems we can proceed with the experimental phase of the Neo World program. Survivors of Hope Peak Academy? 15 students? Is that about us? Excluding Chucky, who is part of the Future Foundation, there are definitely 15 of us, but what does survivors mean? It's like they're talking to the talking from some other world. What happened outside Jabberwock Island? If the biggest, most awful, most tragic of tragic event in human history is really true, then the world isn't normal anymore. Maybe. I'm starting to feel like we might be better off not remembering the memories we've lost. Academy survivors, huh? Very interesting. Looks like it's some sort of monument? Why would there be a monument in a music, music room? And not just that, the mark engraved into the monument is a symbol of the future foundation, right? Below that symbol is a short passage engraved. 
To combat the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, the graduates of Hope's Peak Academy were among the many who established the Future Foundation. We established the Future Foundation? I will say though that it is ideal to play Ultra Despair Girls if you plan to watch D3. DV3. But if you really want to go straight to V3, I suppose it wouldn't be that big of a problem. I heard that Ultra Despair Girls is good. It's a good lead into End of Hope's Peak Arcs. Is that the show? Huh? The Future Foundation was established by the graduates of Hope's Peak Academy? Aren't they known as World Ender? This is completely different. Monokuma, he completely made it up! The show, gotcha. Future Foundation's origins has been added to the truth bullets. Okay. Yeah, D3, DR3 is different than. DR3 is different than DRV3. DR3 is a show. DRV3 is a game. I guess it's all the clues in this room. It's finally confirmed. The Future Foundation is on our side, at least. They were founded by the graduates of Hope's Peak Academy, and they took us to, uh, they took us in to protect us. But if that's true, Chiaki should have made that clear to us. No. As long as Monokuma was around, she probably couldn't say anything carelessly. Monokuma, if he's the Future Foundation's enemy, then his true identity must be the ultimate despair who caused the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Dude, I wish this wasn't such a mouthful. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Saying that like over and over and over again. The ones who are carrying out the will of Junko Inishima are making us go through this. Also, this caught my attention in the email too. What is this research facility on Jabberwock Island? Mentioned in the email. What's that about? Probably the ancient ruins? Maybe? I'm guessing. Or something on the fifth island. The only future foundation facility we found was that ancient ruin. There's no way that's a research facility. If there really is a research facility on this island, there should be other future foundation members here. Somehow, there's still so many mysteries. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, teacher's lounge, I think, now? Teacher's office, whatever. It's not really a lounge, I guess. This feels different from a classroom. It's probably the office, right? I mean, the room kind of has that stuffy teacher vibe to it. The office, huh? Now that you mention it, it does look like that. Yeah. More importantly, have you seen Miss Sonia? I don't see her anywhere. How much longer is this guy going to be obsessed with Sonia? Give it up already. I thought I saw something. Hello. More floating text, list of subjects. Hey, it's Hyoko. Hmm? There's something written on the blackboard. What's written here? List of subjects. It's written on the blackboard in large letters just below that. Alright, uh, just below that are all of our names. How interesting. Our names I've seen before. There's a newspaper posted on the blackboard. Below that, Kyoko Sayonji is written there. What is this newspaper? What is this? It says, Miss Kyoko Sayonji. This can't mean the same Hyoko, right? I mean, the Hyoko we knew. She was much smaller and looked more childlike. It was pretty much her defining feature. I still recognize her. But yeah, yeah, she does look very much older in this. But the photo in this newspaper, in a way, I can see the resemblance to Hyoko, but her height and figure is too different from the Hyoko we knew. What does this mean? Huh? huh? This lady looks pretty mature. Is she Hyoko's older sister or something? No. It says Hyoko Sayonji here. Uh. Oh! Then, Hyoko has an older sister with the same first and last name! Older sister with the same first and last name? Ew. 
Uh, that's the only explanation, right? I mean, look at it for yourself. That's not Hyoko. But, did you ever hear her mention an older sister? Uh, well, it's not like I was that close to her or anything. She doesn't have an older sister. Hyoko is the Sayanji family's only daughter. Hey, she doesn't have a sister. Then a relative? No, there's still too much of a resemblance. That's Hyoko. Huh? Oh, what are you saying? Yoko doesn't have a curvy body like this. I mean, she is famous for her, for her childlike figure. She got away with all kinds of crap for looking like that. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe she had a growth spurt? What are you saying? She's already dead. There's no way she could have had a growth spurt. Poo, poo, poo. Wow, regardless, all the clues I provided are true. If they weren't, it wouldn't be fair. What the heck? This is the truth? If this is the truth, then the Hyoko in this newspaper. Is he really saying this is the same person? That's impossible. I mean, how can there be a photo of a grown-up Hyoko when she's already dead? Do we go back in time? We go back in time. Somehow. Somehow. Oh, why? Why does this even exist? C could it be? Relate to that list of subjects over there? Huh? If it says subjects, it means there's some kind of experiment, right? Did that experiment change Shioko's body? Oh, what am I saying? Just saying it out loud makes it sound messed up. What experiment? If it's some kind of experiment, it would mean that we're also test subjects, right? I mean, our names are also written on the blackboard under that list of subjects. But what kind of experiment was it? <laughs> What's going on? Ben not have anything to do with the time travel. Oh. <laughs> Alright. List of subjects been added to the truth boards. And the headmaster. An extremely overwhelming portrait is hanging on the wall. I feel like I've seen it before, but the name etched into the placard, placard says Hope Peak Academy founder, Izuru Kamukuda? Oh, that's how I know, that's how I, I remember the name. Okay. Hmm. The founder of Hope Peak Academy and this name, Izuru Kamukuda. Doesn't this clearly contradict the information I obtained earlier? Damn it, another mystery. The Academy's founders have added two bullets, okay? How oh, very interesting. Now Monokuma's. Now here's the floating text. There's probably nothing on the flowers, but... Flowers, on top of the desk? Plus, it looks strange to me. Are my eyes just tired? I mean, they're a little pixely, but that's just how the game is, dude. There are letters floating in the air, like the music room from earlier. Looks like a passage from an email someone wrote. I think it's the same one from earlier. I guess I should read it. We understand this matter regarding the survivors. In order to safely acquire them, please do your best and continue your investigation. However, you must exercise extreme caution concerning the remnants of despair. Even though they have lost Junko Inoshima, the fact remains that they are incredibly dangerous. Even after her death, the tragedy has not ended. Perhaps there's still a leader on par with Jinko Inoshima. As long as we do nothing about the remnants of despair, we will not be able to do we will not be able to end it, end this incident. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. Everything is for the sake of a shining future. I immediately eliminated? Does that mean this is an order to kill them? Doesn't that doesn't sound peaceful at all. Well, I guess it's understandable. If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is as terrible as it sounds, it's pretty much all-out war. If the remnants of despair are the ones waging that war, there's no way they'd be forgiven that easily. Remnants of despair has been added to truth bullets. Okay. Okay! With this, you've totally raised all the flags on this floor! Congratulations, Hajime! You shall now go to the next stage! Next stage? 
A different floor now? Third floor? Yep. Damn it! Not again! The hallway is different from the last time. I guess when that flag Monokuma mentioned is raised, I, mo I moved to a different hallway than the last. But how can he do that? No, now is not the time to be confused by that. Thinking about it is just going to waste my energy. I guess I'm going to... I don't remember what room is. Is that the rec room? That's the rec room. That's a, that's a dart board. That's a dart board. That's what it means. Ah, hmm. uh, host. What is that on the uh, table? It's a billiard table, a dartboard, and a shelf lined with magazines. It's hard to think a room like this actually exists inside a school. It's a file with Host Peak Academy seal, Academy seal on it. This is a real spooky building. I know, dude. But it's the entire school building from the first game, so it's pretty cool. This is confidential. That means this is a big secret, right? Yeah, that's what confidential means. Why would an important document be here? I expect you to piece together the mystery of Host Peak using only the truth boys before the class trial. As expected. As I've done on every other class trial. Why, even, why am I even asking a question like that? Obviously, Monokuma is responsible. Anyway, I need to confirm what's inside the file. About the Hope Cultivation Plan. For many years, Hope's, Hope's Peak Academy has conducted rigorous research into various talents. The Hope Cultivation Plan seeks to use the fruits of our labor to further our true goal. With our hands, we will, we will birth a true hope that will bring hope to the entire world. Truly, the program is the next innovation and providing the ultimate education. This plan has been the Academy's wish since its foundation, so we must succeed at all costs. What followed was a series of detailed instructions and intricate orders. It was full of difficult technical terms and I had no idea what any of them meant. However, the word true hope left a strong impression on my mind for some reason. The hope cultivation plan was created for the sake of birthing true hope. Hope Speak Academy was behind something like that? I don't really get it, but there's something about these words. True hope, huh? Hope cultivation plans, add truth bullets, okay. The chair that Sakura died in. It's a nice, firm looking leather sofa. It looks like it'd be comfortable for anyone to sleep on. <laughs> they did that intentionally. There's a lot of different magazines here. Fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, sports, computer, travel. There's even a magazine about cameras. Mahiu would have been happy to see this. Oh, whoops. Alright, alright, let's just look at the text. This hologram again. What's this one say? It looks like another email passage. Regarding the report we gave you the other day, we have finally succeeded in acquiring them and have placed them in our care. Though they were all dispersed, we are successful, successful in acquiring all 15 of them, due to the fact that we are unable to ask them about specific details. It is unknown how they managed to survive the tragedy. It's been reported that some are wounded, so it seems certain that they survived under harsh conditions. Over the course of our detailed investigation, we determined that they are the same age as the others. So we have decided to entrust them to the survivors of the killing school life. As for the remnants of despair, there are still no solid leads regarding this matter, and we have no new information to report. We will continue with the investigation. Once they are discovered, we shall eliminate them immediately. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. Remnants of despair has been updated, okay? And the Academy Survivors has been updated. It says here that they succeeded in acquiring them and have placed them in our care. That means we should have been protected by the future foundation, right? Then, why is this happening? I think we were supposed to be, Hajime. If the future foundation was protecting us, why were we forced to kill each other on this island? That wasn't the future foundation's doing, that was, uh, Monokuma and whatever he's in. Well, I guess it's not possible that the future foundation set this all, all up. My, my, Hajime! If you keep worrying like that, you're gonna get a toothache and collapse! It's your fault. 
what is this hologram thing anyway? That's, a, that's exactly what it looks like. They're the Future Foundation's emails. I thought they made a perfect clue. So I did a little bit of hacking here and there to get them. You can even do that? Whoever's controlling you seems to possess many talents. Well, who cares about me anyway? They're not important at all. There's no way that's not important. His true identity should connect everything to what's happening right now. Next room? Oh no, it's the second floor. What the? Looks like I'm in a different hallway again. I'm pretty much used to it by now, but even so. What is this space? Am I dreaming or something? I mean, this is just totally disconnected from reality. What? Okay. Let's go to the library. What the heck? Upside down. This is right side up. Good. This must be a library. Wanakuma probably left something here, too. I should hurry up and find it. Maybe it's these. No? Uh, what else is here? Just that? And the... Is it actually just this? Okay. This hologram again. It must be another one of the Feature Foundation's emails. I should read it. There's no doubt that's another clue. To Future Foundation 14th Division, Kodo Negi. Cool. Love the chiptune version of the investigation zone. We're closing in. Alright, let's do it then. Who are you guys? What are you doing right now? What are you doing? Is this, what you're doing is a serious act of treason. Do you understand? Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? Makoto Negi is protecting the remnants of despair? It should be abundantly clear to you how dangerous it is to keep these people alive. Stay calm and think about this carefully. You guys are being lied to. Think carefully about what's important to bring the light of hope to this world. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with, agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and cooperated with recovering your memories. Immediately return the remnants of despair to our headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, the tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. What does this mean? This email suggests that someone is trying to let the remnants of dis despair escape. This email is addressed to Makoto Negi, but he's with the Future Foundation, right? Then why is he trying to protect the remnants of despair? Did he betray the Future Foundation? Email to Makoto has been added to the truth bullets. Remnants of Despair has been updated. Looks like that's all. Now, that's just a classroom. Very interesting stuff. That's not good looking. Finally learning about all this stuff. This is not a classroom. Huh? Didn't I walk into a classroom? <laughs> I don't really get it, but um, this looks like the laundry room. There's no use worrying about it, but I was in a school and now I'm suddenly in a laundry room. This looks like a tablet computer. It looks like the power is on too. Is this the next clue? I picked up the tablet and immediately started examining it. Hmm. Neo World Program. Huh? Neo World Program? This word, Neo World. I seem to recall hearing it and seeing it a few times already. The Neo World Program has another name Psychotherapeutic Communication Simulator. The Neo World program is built with the most recent psychotherapy technology and administrative software. To develop the Neo World program, individuals such as the ultimate programmer, the ultimate neurologist, and the ultimate therapist were among the many talented people whose research results were utilized. Ultimate program, her, programmer, huh? Rip Chihiro. By mounting a device to the cranium, the, Royal, the Neo World program allows its subjects to experience a synthetic virtual world. Hmm. Additionally, the Neo World program has another feature. 
It can replace memories formed in the real world with information contained in the, in the synthetic virtual world. Therefore, it is possible to endure tra trauma sustained in the real world through the use of the virtual world. However, this, d this device is for psychotherapeutic purposes only. Any other use is expressly forbidden. Though it is highly effective in treating brainwashing, abusing the device risks total personality destruction. Thus, extreme care must be exercised when operating this program. <coughs> My voice is getting roughed up. I want to finish this investigation, but I also want to finish up in like 12 minutes. Slowly, everything around me turned black. Synthetic virtual world? Program? A feeling of emptiness, like everything is being tainted. A feeling of weakness, like the world is collapsing beneath my feet. Everything is starting to feel meaningless. The desperate attempts, the sad goodbyes, the conflicts, the trust I felt until now. It's all disappearing until I feel all I feel is despair. Ah! <laughs> I want to like destroy the eardrums, so. I screamed loudly, as if confirming the sound of my own voice. There's no way I can accept this. I am starting to accept that. This. This. There's no way. Something as crazy as this actually ex as this actually exists. You gotta raise the flags more in order to clear my character out. Now then, despair is waiting for you. Impossible. This is impossible. It's all made up. Everything. It's all made up. Made up? Including me too? Neo World Programs added truth bullets. Okay. Wait, wait. Oh! I knew it! That's why I didn't want to leave yet. I see this another one. Okay. Now where where am I now? Hey, how are you doing? Did you enjoy the Kelly School trip? By the way, do you guys remember the speech I made at the beginning? From this point on, I promise I promise you a world that truly deserves to be called a game. Poo poo poo! You guys are the only ones watching this who can sa save them. The end of the world is nigh. What you gonna do? What's gonna happen? Isn't it exciting? Isn't it heartthrobbing? Look forward to it! It's so interesting how we can read that with no problems. Poo 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 poo! Even though clearly not like spelled actually correct and everything. This hallway. When we first arrived here, I walked down this hallway from the classroom to get to the gym. I don't really see a resemblance, but. Oh, now we're going to the class trial area. Or should I go back to the classroom on the left? Let's just see what's in here. If there's anything. Big object. I is this floating? That's impossible. There's no way something this big would be floating like this. But what in the world is it? And the moment I looked at that object. I'm sure this is a message, I don't know what it is. Chihiro? Welcome. Welcome. Mm. What was Chihiro's voice? It was a little bit more girly for me. Welcome. Welcome to the Neo World Program. A person? A floating person is talking to me. Who is it? No, is this even a person in the first place? Um, I'm not quite a person. I'm simply an artificial intelligence program. It would make me happy if you called me Alter Ego. That is the name my master gave me when he created me. It can talk. But what are you? Alter Ego. Artificial intelligence program? I... I'm the master program behind the Neo World program. I'm responsible for creating and overseeing this world. However, only the observer has the authority to directly influence you guys. 
I can't actually exert much influence. In fact, my existence is one that you don't normally meet. I'm sort of like an apartment manager or something. I may oversee the entire apartment building, but I lack the power to manage individual rooms. But the virus has infected everything I'm supposed to be managing. And because of that, this world I'm managing is acting very peculiar. Uh, hold on. My brain can't follow what you're saying. Let me gather my thoughts first. Damn it, it's that feeling from earlier again. It's floating, floating, like my feet are hovering above the floor. It's like I can't feel my feet or the ground. Like I can't even believe my own existence. Hey, you should know, right? Where is this place? Tell me, what is the Neo World Program? The Neo World Program has omitted the data collection procedure for shaping the entire world. As such, only the data was... Only the data we collected during the experimental stage is being utilized. Specifically, that means the data did detailing Jabberwock Island, where this research facility is located. That is why the previous Jabberwock Island cityscape was restored. Ergo, if I am to answer your question, where is this place? The answer would be, mostly Jabberwock Island. Certainly por certain portions of it are different depending on the circumstances. For example, the school you're in. It appears, this space is entirely under the virus's influence. That's probably why I'm appearing before you too. However, even without the virus, these circumstances are a bit unnatural. It seems the launch was rushed, and because of that, there wasn't enough time to collect any data. I'm sorry, I don't really know the circumstances of the outside world. After all, I'm simply the overseer of the Neo World program. Most of its words. I understood what they meant, but I couldn't understand what was being said. There was no way for me to acknowledge it as the truth. It wouldn't make much more sense if this was a fictional world. Wait, are you saying this world is a fictional world? I feel... I feel like I can't believe what's going on here. This missing sense of reality. All the mysteries, all the truths, they're all just fiction. Is that... Even so, I need to know. I need to know what this world is! Hey. Can you tell me? Hey, can you tell me? What was the Neo World Program used for in the first place? The Neo World Program serves only one purpose. It is used to make the real world a splendid one. I guess you can say, it's a program for creating hope. A program for creating hope? But the fact that we're here, and the fact that we don't have our memories, that's all the program's fault, right? Deleting memory, it's a first step toward replacing memory. Replacing memory data is one of the features of the Neo World program. With the installed memory control unit, it is possible to remove any time period you set it to. And from there, you upload the memories obtained in the virtual world. Yo, is this like Amadeus or something? Removing memories of any time period you set it to? We're time leaping. So Monokuma was right. We did lose our school memories. But why? Why us? Why was, were our school memories taken away? There's a reason for that, right? That is a mystery to me too. Booting the program on the survivors of Hope's Peak Academy while still in this experimental stage. I'm sure there was a very good reason. But unfortunately, I don't know what's happening in the outside world. I'm sorry. Are you saying we're lab rats? That's the only thing I can think of. It sounds like we're just lab rats. The Future Foundation did that to us? But they're just trying to save the world, right? Or is the Future Foundation not our ally? I mean, wasn't Alter Ego in the first game like Amadeus? Yeah, I mean, yeah. But the replacing memories is not like Amadeus, I guess. Or, I guess Amadeus doesn't do anything with the replacing memories, but... Directly. Um, I'm sorry. I can't provide that much help. If only I was more reliable. I wouldn't have lost my authority to a virus like this. All these new words make my head feel like it's about to burst. Can you tell me more about the Observer and that virus? Well, for this session, the Neo World Program was programmed to house 15 people, along with two monitors. Two monitors? Yeah, they were disguised as a teacher and one of the students. Monomi and Shiaki? I guess. They are intended to guide the participants in this way. By the way, the observer in the teacher role has been given the authority to influence you all. 
but the observer and the student role was not. They weren't given any special authority at all, so they'd seem the same as everyone else. What kind of authority does a teacher role have? As an example, the teacher creates the rules of this world and manages them. If the teacher is properly, properly managing the roles they've created, there's no risk of abuse. But because of the virus infecting everything, that has changed. It changed this world where violence shouldn't have existed in the first place. The Neo World program would have promised eternal peace. But just like the outside world, it's become a world filled with violence and death. What is that virus? I don't really know the details behind its true identity, but that function is beyond my capabilities. <laughs> no matter how much I try to stop it, it behaves as, it, as if it already knows what I'm attempting to do, to do. In the end, it's still the portion of my abilities which has contained my authority to build the world. It was like, it was a grandmaster chess player. I desperately tried to fight back so it wouldn't have complete control. But even so, a portion of the world has been modified at its convenience. She's... She! She's probably talking about Monokuma Rock in the Funhouse. Based on what she's saying, it sounds like she's on the receiving end of a one-sided attack. But Alter Ego should be an impressive AI that the Future Foundation created. I can tell that just by communicating with her. Which means this supposed virus is so smart that it surpasses this Alter Ego? If so, does that virus possess an AI just like her? Damn it, what the heck? But he's a guy. <laughs> an AI waging an attack against another one. That's so freaking irritating. But how'd that virus infect the Neo World program? The Neo, the Neo World program exists in isolation. It's impossible it, it was infected through a network. I'm fairly certain someone physically uploaded it. Physically? Perhaps someone secretly brought an external memory drive containing the virus into the facility and directly uploaded it into the main computer where the Neo World program is installed. Based on my calculations, that's most likely what happened. It was brought to the Future Foundation's facility? But the only person who could enter that facility is someone who is a member of the Future Foundation. Damn it, what am I thinking? Why am I assuming that what I just heard is the truth? Why am I assuming that everything is a lie? Observers has been added to the truth bullets. Okay. New world program has been updated. Ah, but it's true that the virus is powerful and that I'm completely overwhelmed by it. But I'm still able to defend the essential areas. So it has a limit too. A limit? If it over if it took over an observer, then it has to follow the rules of an observer. Um, as such, such as, in order to end the program and release everyone, I need to follow the correct procedure and... Okay, even if you just got into the machine, that's enough hints from you. If you're gonna say something more, suppose that you exist between life and death. The death of yourself is ine inevitable. If so, it can be parallel to... The deflection based on the definition of existence that constitutes the relationship. From there, the paradigm... Change results by being cut off rapidly and causes a situation where your own existence is unobservable and accelerates and crosses with the joint ownership of the world and the situation from the context invites your death 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 hey death 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 okay okay what's going on What the heck? What just happened? You're... You're... Right there, aren't you? Someone... Is right there... Oh wait... Is, is that Hajime? Huh? Who are you? Are you different from the earlier one? Maybe he... Can't hear my voice from this side? Whoops. <laughs> I thought it was still. I, th I still thought it was uh, <laughs> Alter Ego. <laughs> but I think it's Hajime. 
Yo, I didn't know it had this slot, this, actually. That's me. That's gotta be me. I'm currently talking to the world through Alter Ego. Ever since you guys vanished into that space, the video's feedback has been pretty distorted. I don't think it's... It doesn't look like Nagito's hair. Unless it is. I don't think it is. But even so, we were forced to watch you this entire time. Huh? Unless it's Makoto. Hajime's Ahoge is taller and straighter. Okay, then this is Makoto then, right? Huh? The things you guys were forced to do, we were forced to watch it. Forced? To watch us? I really want to save you right now. But because of the virus's interferences, interference, I couldn't. Our orders are no longer being accepted, including shutdown requests. The Neo World program is beyond our control now. In that world, that person created an independent country that doesn't accept outside interference. But, Alter Ego created an opportunity for me to speak to you directly. If this means that's working, then it means that the person I need to talk to is right there. I hope. It looks like this guy can't even hear me or see me. Just who is this guy anyway? Either way, it's the same voice. It's true. Easy. Is he our ally? Since there's no time, I'm going to say what I need need to say and believe you're there listening to me. But first, I should apologize to everyone. I know apologizing won't help out, but we didn't imagine something like this would happen. We never expected such an atrocious virus was lurking inside the Neo World program. But that's entirely our fault. It's our responsibility for not realizing it until it's too late. But it's not just the virus either. I can't say for sure that the program didn't have any problems in the first place. To tell you the truth, I was unsure about whether or not to run the program on you guys. But this was the only way to save you all. I wanted to save you guys. Save us? What did he want to save us from? Why would this save us? You've already seen the password to enter the graduation exam ground, right? You know, 11037. 11037, that's the number we found at Nezumi Castle. The door to the ancient ruin was supposed to open after you finished all finished gathering the hope fragments. From there, you guys were supposed to challenge the graduation exam. However, I prepared that password just in case something went wrong. Like I said earlier, I had my doubts that this program was perfect. Even if the chance was slim, I thought the observer might end up going rogue. That's the reason I left that 11037 password in a place where the teacher role would not be able to go. Genius. I never thought Nagito, who saw it first, would erase that password. Anyway, I'm also the person who set the password to that number. That number contains a secret. Someone close to me left that number to save me when I was in a dilemma. Can you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm entrusting that will to you all. I'm, I've entrusted it to your future. But that person is trying to abuse the graduation exam. I'm sure they are going to tr crush you with despair using the graduation exam that's waiting for you. But I want you guys to endure it without giving up on hope. I want you guys to withstand it until I get there. Because I have a secret to defeat them. Does that mean he has a secret plan to defeat Monokuma? In a worst case scenario where an observer who has the role of teacher goes rogue, I prepared a hidden command to use at the graduation exam site. It's the force shutdown sequence. Force shutdown sequence? Even a teacher's authority can't stop that command. It's a way to end this that end this that you guys can choose on your own independently of the of the of the observer. Which means even if they stole the teacher's authority, they shouldn't be able to stop it. If you use that, you guys will win. However, in order to start the force shutdown sequence, you need more than half the number of people. And in order to do that, I need to somehow get that number. What number? I'm not really sure what number he means. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Why was that just now? Mm -hmm. Hey, Hajime, why was that weirdness just now? Uh, nothing, really. Mm -hmm. I see. Oh, well. Anyway, that's all the hints you're gonna get. 
If that no good AI tells you any more useless stuff, I'm gonna butt in again. Did Monokuma not notice what just happened? It's been a while since I've spoken at length, but it was important to talk to you. It was worth it waiting a long time here. Hey, about that guy just now. There shouldn't be anything else for you to ask me. I see. It'd be better if Monokuma, if Monokuma overheard us. That means Monokuma doesn't know about the conversation I had with that guy just now. You guys have a weapon. A very powerful weapon. It all depends on how you guys use that weapon. The only thing I can do is prevent the virus's invasion with all my might so you guys can use that weapon. The rest is up to you all. Do your best. Do our best, huh? But what do we have to do our best at? The mystery is getting solved. I'm finally starting to see the truth. But what are we supposed to do when that truth is really a lie? All Might? Is that our, is that our very powerful weapon? <laughs> we know we're working towards a conclusion that nobody wants to hear. But still, do we really need to work hard and do our best? Is there really a reason to do our best? If everything was a lie, then isn't everything just meaningless? It's the same for the killings, too. Even though we thought we had to experience something as painful as that, something as tragic as that, wouldn't all that be meaningless, too? When the world has flipped over and become so irrational, what am I supposed to do? Oh, uh, Alter Ego said he would use all his might. <laughs> Oh, there it is. With all my might. I got it. What am I supposed to do? 11037 is out of the truth bullets. Okay. Shutdown sequence has been added to the truth bullets. And with that, I guess I'm leaving. Ooh. This is okay. I'm going to get to the pre classroom trial stuff. If there is one. Hey, do you guys know if there's a pre-class trial preparation save? If there is, I'll save there and then uh, I'll head it. I'll be finished. Ah, so um, I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? It's time for the long-awaited graduation exam. Please enter the red door located on the first floor of Host Peak Academy. There is. You would assume so. Cool. Poo poo poo! See you soon! A red door, huh? It's just a wish time thing about what this all means right now. For now, I need to finish this. I need to just focus on that. I still don't even know what this is like. What am I trying. What am I gonna be trying to prove at the class trial? He means this red door, right? Just solving the mystery of everything that's going on? Do I just have to go in here? If I do that, will this be finished? I can't even turn. That's crazy. It's kind of cool, though, too. Alright. Huh? This place. Looks like everyone's here. Huh. It seems that this is going to be the final place. This is However, this place is... Is this a trial field? But why is it a trial field? It sure looks like a trial ground, but the vibe is way different than the one before. We've been here before, right? Yeah, this should be the place that the door at the ancient ruins leads to. Huh? This is pretty strange that we've been in that other building up till now. It's like we're dreaming or something. If this is a dream, then this too is very. So you finally arrived! Congratulations! You guys are the first ones to ever beat this game! I was stopping by. After stopping by Host Peak Academy, you finally come back to this place! To the graduation exam site within the ancient ruins of Jabberwock Island! You can give it a fancy name like you 
can give it a fancy name like graduation exam site, but it's no different than the trial ground from before. From before. This trial field actually inspired the one from before. So in a way, this place is the original. <laughs> Who cares? This graduation exam means we can finally go home, right? Of course, if that's what you guys decide. Huh? And if we have to decide, what do we have to do? Ahem! Please take a look at the LCD touch panel built into your seats. Compared to the other trials, this, the rules are much simpler this time. There are two options, graduate and repeat, right? You just have to choose one of them and press it. All of you will cast your vote, and whichever one has a majority will be considered your final decision. If you don't press either of them, it will be treated as an absence and will not be counted. Which means, everyone who has died up till now will have their vote votes treated as absences. Then, the result is based on our majority vote. Ahem! If graduate is chosen by a majority vote, from there, an event that's kind of like a graduation ceremony called the graduation program will begin. Oh, if we do the stupid majority vote, my result, the results are already pretty damn obvious. Come on, let's move this along. We can press it now, right? No, 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 you can't do that yet. I mean, your resolve hasn't firmed yet, right? Your will will be swept away by society's harsh current. Shut up! Who the hell cares? I'm gonna press it! My, my! Which of your orifices will you be using? Well, are you using to spew bile? To participate in the graduation program, you need my final say as your teacher, you know? What the, What? Does that mean? Does that mean it won't end with just a majority vote? After the vote, I'm going to judge every single one of you to see if it's okay for you to graduate or not. So even if we vote, you're saying we won't graduate unless you acknowledge it. Yeah. Um, I'm terribly sorry for being rude earlier. But you don't have to worry. There's no way I won't acknowledge your graduations. This is merely a formality. I'm just doing it because that's how it has to be. He's doing it because that's how it has to be? It doesn't mean he can ex exert his will over everything. He too has a limit. Is this what Alter Ego was talking about? Anyway, if you even if you don't want to do it, you guys still need to do it to solve the mystery. Afterward, you cast your majority votes, and from there, we move on to the graduation program. <laughs> but what? Why do we even have to go through something like so dumb? Well, that is. You said. Oh, you said you were waiting for the main cast, right? Which means you're just stalling for time, then. Huh. Who's the main cast? Oh, no need to worry about it. It has nothing to do with you guys. <laughs> There's no way it has nothing to do with us. We're the only ones who are involved, you know? It doesn't matter if you're involved or not. You're just a bunch of chumps in the big picture. That's why it has nothing to do with you. Just perform your, perform your roles without complaining. That's good. Hold on. What's with that chump comment? I can't ignore that. Ah, not that it's important or anything, but make sure you turn off that toy. How dare you treat him like a toy? I did treat it like a toy. You got a problem with that? I created everything. Poo, poo, poo. You're actually picking a fight with me? I'm basically a god. Just how promising can you guys be? I guess this is just the nature of life. Fine then, before you die, sear, sear my power into your memories. Alright. Now let's, uh, let's be done. Wow, that was a ride. I still don't know what's going on. I still don't know what I need to solve, really. Pretty cool though. It was a lot of fun. I really like the. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm like a kind of a sucker for like the game glitching out like that. It's just a cool thing. So, uh, yeah. Um, I assume this is just gonna be like any other class trial. Maybe I'll finish it tomorrow. If I don't finish it tomorrow, it's likely that I'll finish it on 
this weekend sometime. I'm not going to say which day, because I don't know. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, McDale, I hope you stream tonight. If you are streaming, I've got this sick new command in, uh, in, on my chat. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Oh, that's sick. Oh, I could do this. It it's dynamic. It just looks it does a look up on like the the name and the game. So if it if I just want to use it on whoever. So it's pretty cool. Anyways, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna head out. See you guys. Thanks for watching again. That's not the end screen I meant to use, but, uh, my bad. That's the same one as McDale's. <laughs>